Hello everyone, in this video we are trying to work with printful data in OrphanGen. This course are adapted from other resources available from the internet. So here we have imported the data set. This data set is called Chirps and this data set provides us with the rainfall data at the interval of every five days. Here we have imported the save file and we here we have different points as the feature. So here we have the start and end date and our data set has been filtered by dot filter date with the start and end date and that has been reduced as dot sum. Here we have provided the different colors for the visualization and we also provide other visualization parameters with minimum and the maximum value and the colors as the palette. So we add it as the layer here with the layer's name as total precipitation. Similarly, we have added our uh, save file as the layer and uh, we want to know the total preci uh, precipitation in our in our area or in our save file. So for that, we have uh, dot reduce region and we reduce it by dot mean, ee dot reducer dot mean. And we have the geometry as our save file and we provide a scale. And from that, uh, from that uh, variable here, we get the uh, precipitation sum. And the whole uh, layer that was called total, preci uh, total precipitation can be done only for our area of interest by dot clip. And uh, this is to get the visualization only for uh, that particular save file. And here is the function. So this function helps us to get the uh, precipitation data for uh, our area of interest or our save file um, with the uh, uh, precipitation, uh, yearly precipitation. So for that, we have the function here. We take the year. Uh, this is our parameter for the function. And here we have the start date, and here we have ee dot date dot from ymd, and what it does it it returns it returns a date given in the year, month and day, and we also have the end date, and here we have dot advance, and uh, dot advance um, just advances or uh, gives us the next year uh, from the start date. Here we have the one that means the Year provided is uh, year uh, selected is just the uh, one year ahead of the start date. So here we have the filtered. Um, this we are filtering this data set by start date and end date uh, that we just did previously. And then we have the ee.reducer.sum. And then after we have the stats, you get the mean of that uh, area, total rainfall of that area. And here we have the geometry.shp and we have scale and we are getting the year and we're getting the precipitation. So this is our function here. And we want to get the all the um, our rainfall data from the year 1981 to 2019. This is our uh, sequence of years that is done by ee.list.sequence. And uh, that has been mapped or the previously developed function here, the early info has been mapped and that has been converted into the feature collection by ee.featureCollection. So this has been mapped, uh, mapped to years.map and this is the function name. And we can export, um, export the previous feature collection to drive as, a as the table. For that, we have the collection as rainfall years. This comes, uh, this variable comes here from this from here. And we can create the folder that is the auth engine that we have created. Uh, that it, well, that when we run this uh, function, 
uh, it creates naturally. The file name is provided here and the file format is CSV. So if we run this all, so you can see here the uh, talks. So first we get the uh, rainfall from our area of interest. That was the save file. And we can see here, we can see here the visualization for the whole map. So this is for the whole map here. We had dreamed, we had named this as a, the total precipitation. So you can see this was our save file somewhere from Nepal. And we can see the precipitation in the save file. So this is just the single color here. Similarly, uh, when, we had, when we had drawn this course, we had something in the talks. So we can run this and we get the file. So I had already done this. So here we have the um, file here. can see this if you like. So we have the precipitation in the year. So there is the other chunks of quotes here. So in this uh, chunks of code, what we're doing is we want to get the um, rainfall data for each and every point. So here we have the uh, different points, and these points uh, are just done randomly. And for creating the feature, here we can select the feature. If we just uh, create the point, it just goes as the geometry or just as the uh, point uh, with no other uh, properties, but if we click here the feature, we can add the property here. So the property name is level and the value here, it can be anything here. So this has been repeated uh, multiple times for nine different points. And these points are now the features. So to convert them into the feature collection, we can do that by ee dot feature collection and we write all the points here. So this has been converted as the feature collection. So similarly, we have the data filtered and we can create you uh, create the chart by ui.chart.image.csv region. Here we have our data sets, filter data set. Our feature collection is the all, all points and we want to have introduced by dot mean. And this is our precipitation is our band. Here we have the scale and here we have uh, the time in the x-axis. And we want to have selected as the level uh, in which we differentiate the different charts. And we also have dot set chart type as line chart. And this draws the line graph. And here we have the set dot set options providing title, uh, horizontal axis, vertical axis, uh, line wide, point size. And this series works to provide uh, the different colors to different points here. So we have the nine points. So these points, uh, these colors are for that points. So if we run this here, so we get the chart here for different points. So you can see here, different line graphs for different points and we can download it as a CSV as well. So I have already downloaded this. And this comes as like this. So we have uh, different points here. And we have the dates uh, at the interval of every five days. And it is for the year. So you can see here, it ends at 26 December. And we have the rainfall data for each and every point for the whole year.
So I believe this also can be replicated to other types of data sets and uh, we can work with that. So I hope this was helpful. And again, these all codes are copied or adapted from the available resources from the internet. Um, hope you find this video helpful. If you have any comments, uh, please write the comments. So thank you for watching.